there's an advantage to having a trailer that's even better than a pickup in some instances is that you can load the trailer at a lower level than you can with a uh, pickup truck. And um, when, whenever I'm traveling and you, you have a sport utility, it's four cylinder, it's much more fuel efficient than your typical pickup truck. And I'm still able to every once in a while when I need to bring in a load of uh, whatever uh, building materials uh, to the survival prepper property. Uh, you can just use the trailer. This trailer is a five by eight. I found it on Craigslist for $400. And um, they have stake uh, bed sides to them. Make sure that when you get one, it has a stake bed side, meaning around the perimeter of the, the trailer, it has little loops where you can put a two by four into it and put a rail on it in order to keep your load secured. And then buy a, a bundle of straps from Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart or uh, wherever you shop and uh, use that to fasten your load down. So uh, this trailer is tiny, you know, it's a really small trailer, but it works great with a small sport utility. And uh, in this area, you need a four by four. So it, it's a nice combination. Um, so, uh, you know, a trailer of that size is perfectly fine. You get the wiring harness and a receiver hitch put on. Normally, it should cost you about uh, two or three hundred dollars in order to get a trailer hitch put on your vehicle. Uh, the trailer itself will be three to six hundred dollars, uh, just as a range. I, again, I bought this one used. Whenever you buy them used, just make sure the tires are in good shape and uh, check to make sure the lights work. So the first thing you should buy is the hitch on and have that mounted, a receiver hitch mounted to your car first. That way, when you go to pick the trailer up, uh, the wiring is all in place, the hitch is all in place, and when you find a good deal on Craigslist or whatever, you can uh, jump on it right away and uh, uh, make sure and test the lights while you're there. Uh, so uh, this is Wayne with the redpillradio.com.